Hello and welcome for another episode on how to install open source application on your server. This is Alf, your host, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to install a copy of CMS Made Simple. But before we start, I would like to thank every single viewers. We got over 57,000 viewers, and uh, I just want to remind you that uh, you can uh, follow me on Open Source Channel website. Or you can find uh, follow me on Z Panel CP website, Twitter, and on Paperly for the latest uh, tutorials. Now, as I said, uh, let's go and start to download the latest version of CMS Made Simple by clicking this icon on top here, and I'm going to download this one. I'm, I can download the actual English version around here. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to download the full latest table here and save it. Now we're going to extract the contents inside here. I already done it, but all you need to do is just highlight the lot and press and drag and drop here. Okay. Now, once you've done that, I'm going to upload the entire content to the server by highlighting it, drag and drop using FileZilla or any other FTP program. Once has been uploaded, I'm going back to my browser, going to my Z panel CP or any other control panels, uh, C panel, Plask, whatever you want, really, and you you start to need to uh, create a new database. I'm going to call it CMS and press create. Again, database. I'm going to create the user. CMS again and I'll map it to the database I want and press create. Now once that's been done, I'm going to copy my password that I'm going to need it. I'm going to refresh the domain where I'm going to install it. I'll press F5, choose the language here, submit and continue. Now there are some, there are not errors as you can see here. Some are filled and some are not. Now when you find this icon, that means the actual doesn't mean the actual requirement. Doesn't mean it's not going to work. Now um, for this kind of a purpose, I mean my web so, uh, server uh, that I'm using is just an exclusively for tutorials. So I. You know, you know, sometimes I need to change all the configuration and I cannot really do this for many purpose. I want to have a kind of configuration that actually works across the border with every single um, application. But when you buy a hosting uh, package from large companies such as HostGator or Cloud Systems or say for example in UK you can have some VPS from one to three to edge or you can go to GoDaddy, you won't have these kind of issues. If you may, if you do find these kind of issues and you think it's not installing properly, you want to contact your hosting provider and you want to just ask them if they can uh, help you to, uh, uh, to change, for example, the time limit in this case here for the checking of the PHP. Now the minimum is, for example, uh, 30 seconds. And I just got the bare minimum. I can go up to 60 seconds if I really wanted to. But again, for 
for what I'm going to do today, um, as you can see here, they are pretty good. And I'm going to continue for the installation because everything looks fine. So once I'm happy with it, I'll press continue. Now it's going to uh, create a file. I believe it's creating a uh, configuration file there. And I'm going to use the unmask. So I'm going to press continue. It looks fine there. Now we're going to create the admin account. And I'm going to uh, create the password. Now click there if you want the system to uh, send you the information by email. I'm not going to, but I su uh, suggest you do click here. I'm press pressing continue. Now I'm going to um, add the site name, CMS, um, let's call it a tutorial, CMS Tutorials. I'm, you can choose the time zone, I'm leaving as, as it is London. Now I'm going to choose the database and that's fine on the top. And as you can see here, it's going to be localhost as usual. Uh, again, check out your hosting provider. It might be different. Now, the database name is CMS as we've done it before. But if you remember properly, in my case, for example, it's always Z admin in the front. But that is, again, not the actual case. You need to make sure that when you install this kind of application, you know exactly what kind of panel you're using, cPanel, Plesk, and so on and so forth it should give you a good idea how uh, the actual name of the database gets named okay now i'm going to uh, paste the password the actual username is cms i'm going to leave this blank as this is the uh, default and Make sure that I create tables and install samples content because I want to show you how, uh, how it looks. So I'm going to press continue. It looks like everything is fine and it was a success. I'm going to, because I'm going to run it as in the root, I'm going to leave as res. The path looks fine. String, it looks okay as the uh, page there. And the default, I'm going to use uh, English US. And I'm going to press again, continue. Now, everything's done. And all I need to do is, uh, here is the, way, uh, the main site. The actual main page as you can see it and I'm going to log here the admin panel here we go we got the actual admin uh, side of it the actual dashboard it's quite nice and very intuitive uh, piece of software nice CMS I must be honest as, a, as I said in the title it's very simple to use as well uh, you can add content change the layout the site admin extensions, user groups, and creating new users, uh, permissions, assignments. It's very nice. Here you can change the actual templates. Now uh, you can see which one is default. And all of it are active as well. There are many others where you can actually uh, change if you want to. So you can see how it works. A uh, site admin. Here are all the settings 
it's for you to uh, manipulate, you know, just play around with it and see how it, how it is. Um, again, everything looks fine. It's very nice, as I said, very nice piece of uh, software. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I hope you uh, follow me on my new website and on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, please, and share my tutorials. Thanks again, and I'll see you again next time for a new tutorial. Bye.